Forever is the strangest thing. It's shorter than you think. Back and forth with no broke ass bitch yeah. And that song that you like, I probably wrote that shit know that's it uh, More fire, hot like Naya Whole lot of juice, I'm the plug and the wire Well, hello and welcome back To another episode of My Indigo My This is your host, Tashana Honey And today, the mess continues we're going to be talking about Zodo Beans, okay, both nation, black, shady, everybody slick. So let's get right into this video. Of course. Yeah, and, and look, look, you know what's funny? <laughs> look, remember, remember they were playing the racist card on me? Look how it switched over. She called her own black sister of this earth a monkey. So now it's black on black racism going on on the two. You look, look at the ridiculousness of this, right? She facts. She called Cutie Squad called Lily a monkey. Why would you refer to Lily as a monkey? Isn't that a racist term to begin with? Let's be real here, right? But I'm racist. But I'm racist, though. Right, right? bro. Try, hey, listen, bro. Listen, Wolf. They were trying to pull that same shit on me, bro. Talking, talking about I call, I call Zoe this and that, this and that. And her. I'm like, bro, first of all, anybody who know me knows I'm not that that guy. At all. Uh, at all. Not even aside. Yeah. People who know my family and, like, bro. my family bro, 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 like that. Me, bro. Hey, yo, yo, look, check this out. And, and, and yo, Slick, I had to use this example all day, but I I had to explain it. When Slick talk the way she talking, she'd be like, oh, them crackers. It's not because she racist. It's just, it's just, you know what I mean? That street terminology, that's how we refer to things. You feel me? And a lot of people don't understand that. But how come when it's up to me saying the word nigga, now everybody want to come at me? Nah, keep that same energy with everybody on all different sides and angles, not just me. Either way, I grew up with that word all around me all day. Is it okay? Like I said, no. I'm definitely going to try to stop saying it. Of course. But damn, like, son, they be some shit. Yeah. They be bugging. But you already saw Slick what happened here. He done destroyed himself with his own hands with his it own was hands. Bound to happen though bro that's how you do it and rip bro it happens all the time bro every time somebody fall out with Zoe it's because of soul bro yeah well darling it's a it's a hot heat it's made oh my god there are so many accusations being thrown around so many things honey and you want to take them seriously because number one, Slick, when Zolo um, introduced uh, her brother, it was family. So. Talk about my nephew's a fucking dick sucker and suck it on these little ass boys because we will break the past history while he was in that apartment house. Like, what the fuck is going on? Yo, that man life. said Aaron is a pedophile. He said on his life, Aaron is a pedophile, bro. I know, I heard it too. And oh, yeah, so y'all was there. I okay. Okay, so you heard, you heard, you heard. I'm going to put down to the attorney's office for the SSI and everything else. And the attorney said, do you want to discuss the folder? And he said, yes, please. Let me tell you something. There's a lot of shit that was in that folder that made me sick to my stomach. Hold on. He doesn't want, I'm telling you, my baby daddy even said you better go sit down somewhere because he does not want <laughs> if you pretty much know everything I've been through, CJ, okay, my nephew knows, you know what I'm saying? Like, my kid is standing right here, and he's trying to figure out what the hell is going on, too, and now he's getting bits and pieces, and like he said, he even knows what the hell. So, let's not get on there and ask Joe about how my 11-year-old son whooped his ass on the front porch. I mean, wow. yeah, it was pretty bad. Wow. Wow. So you said you seen his foul. So you said you seen his foul and shit. Yeah, uh, she said, she said, she said somebody, they went to uh, downtown or SSI or whatever, and she seen a bunch of shit in his foul that made her stomach sick. Whoa. 
Wow. I'm not, I'm, not trying to put, no, I'm not trying to put nobody on blast. Like I said, I'm pretty... Hold on, y'all. Talking, that's all he ever is. And all he ever does is steal. Why don't you ask Lorenzo about my kid's Xbox? Or why don't you ask Lorenzo about my kid's thinking things? Or the TVs? Or the tablets? Or the phones? And everything he used to steal from my kids? Or the Nintendo Switch? Or my son's Nikes and his fucking clothes? And Jair's fucking Xbox out of his mom and dad's house? And Damn, uh, Willow. Kevin had to go over there and get the black backpack from Uncle Al's house. I mean, let, let's go. Or how he robbed this one guy and busted out my side window at the old house and everything else. I mean, like, yeah. Zoe needs to stop. He didn't whoop nobody asses. Zoe don't want me to tell everybody how I beat his ass in the hallway. And then he went and called 911 and then told 3rd and 40 and yeah. all this crazy shit. Like, they were supposed to come and jump on me, too, before he went to jail because he spit in my face. Wow. Oh, my God. And how he stole my bank card. I mean, let's, 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 there's a lot of shit wow. behind this. That's why I said, I don't think you all really want me to do this because if I do this, it, it, a lot of people are going to be stomach sick. Or how he stole somebody's sister's black lace drawers and was taking pictures and selling his ass for $25. Whoa. Whoa. Y'all hear that? Whoa. Whoa. Hold on. Did, did I hear that? Hey. Hey, hey, run that shit back look, a little bit, hey, sick. Hey, look, look, eyes in the comments. Hey, did y'all hear look, that? Uh, look, run that back a little bit. Okay. Double A say, run it back. Okay. So, y'all have known this man for forever. Um, the fact that you were turning your back on people that was your day ones just shows you what type of person you are, right? Now, I think that what happened was is that Zoblo started getting some real clout. You know what I'm saying? Clout that he had never gotten just from him rapping. Just from him doing his music is not the clout that he got. So he started to get a bit um a bit much when he started messing with um, Olivia and she started giving him all these big ups and all of this stuff, that shit went to his head, okay? So since that went to his head, he decided after they broke up or broke down that people will run over and watch him if he's live. So with that being the case, um, he decided to start his own show. Now, I don't know if one of these reactors gave him that idea because it's very possible. Um, now, all these reactors were against this man. I'm talking about coming in here. He's a bum. You're stupid. Ah, ah, ah. I told that man, I said, bro, uh, the speaker and I was talking about him, like, about her spending her money and he not, he pretty sure he's not spending any of his and any of any money he get, I'm pretty sure it come from her. Okay. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Somebody reminded me about that storm shit. Yo, can I, let me tell y'all. Y'all want to believe it or not? I don't give a fuck. But this is the truth. Yo, why he remember? Remember? Um, I had said a joke on KP shit about storm because um KP said that she looked at like Dora the Explorer with the backpack on, right? Mm -hmm. So I was like, facts, that that nigga map is going to pop out. You know, map, the map that be in the book bag of Dora Explorer. Yeah, I said that. But the minute that he started to build his platform that everybody liked Zolo, which I think is fucking phony, which is why I don't mess with certain people. Okay. Is that cutie talking? Because if it is, how is she racist, but you're not? I, I don't understand. But you running around saying little racist shit about black women. Y'all funny as hell. I'm scared to do a year because you a bitch ass. Yeah, do your time. I'm not going to fight through the computer. Y'all tripping. You do the crime, you do the time, homie. You gangster, right? Do your time. I'm over you it. scared. Yeah. You know why? Because you're going to do a year and niggas is going to take your girl, homie. Because you no. broke. You broke. Yo, can you answer this for me, though? Take your shorty, son. Can you answer this for me? You ain't paying no bills. You can't pay no rent. You don't even got money. You don't got a Man, job. You fuck up, bro. Yo, can, can, you, can you answer this for me? Can you answer these questions for me and I'll leave it alone? I don't understand broke people. I don't understand that. Thank you, honey. Thank you, miss. Thank you, honey. Go get your money. Mama Dukes, yeah, she racist. You hear what she saying, Mama Dukes? She racist as fuck. 
26 more mugs on the way, y'all. They're going to be ready. Exactly, Bella. Talk your shit, Bella Newberry. That's what's exactly. If y'all don't like your share, y'all don't like your share. Exactly. Look, the chat's saying, Q You know what I'm saying? Like, even if you feel like, oh, he's actually talented. You know what I'm saying? He can actually keep, uh, um, you know, keep people engaged. She's more interested than Liv is on the goddamn live. That's without a fact, tell me. So he has staying power. So I give him that. Do I want to watch him? Do I want to become a mem member? Do I want to subscribe? No, I do not. You know what I'm saying? Like their topics, things they speak on don't resonate with me, especially in the form in which they speak on these topics. Now, the whole child on the line thing never happened. This cutie person, whoever she is, she blew that shit way out of proportion because when they were speaking on it, it was a child in the background. There was no child on the phone. They blew that way out of proportion. I listened to it, okay? Now, Zola was butthurt because Wolf is seen in his BS. Now, what he said was, oh, if that was the case, why wait until after the fact to uh, bring that to the forefront? Or why wait until after I put you off my show for that to be the fact? First of all, you didn't put anybody on the show. They left. <laughs> Second of all, you blocking people like a female is a problem. You talk about people don't want to face your head up, neither do you. Because they will call you over there to have a conversation and you did not come. You did not want to have it. Instead, you went live like a beehive and wanted to go back and forth that way when you could have hashed it out with talking to them. Now you add a female on to an in-between men shit. You don't have nothing to do with that, cutie. Like, you looking real crazy. And on top of that, I heard that you called another black female a gorilla. It's not cute. It's very tasteless. And the fact that you chose that out of all things shows the type of caliber of female you really are. You sitting up here holding other than thou, talking about who should get along and who should be together next minute. Oh, no, I ain't never had a thing in my bed. Make it make sense. Either you this way or you the fuck that way. What's, what's, what's tea? What's tea? Because you got a lot to say about every fucking body. Like Zolo got stained. Like he can't be going tomorrow. Because let's be very fucking clear. Anything with these people's likenesses on it, if they want to go strike down Zolo's channel, it will be going tomorrow. And there's nothing your little channel going to be able to do about it. Like, and I usually don't come as small content creators, but 
you're doing the most right now. A lot of females got up there just to be fucking seen. Y'all look real thirst down in his fucking comments. Know what type of piece of shit ass nigga he is. Knowing that he wants you to take care of him. You down there inside his comments showing that you just as motherfucking bad. And a lot of y'all are Olivia supporters. Don't think I ain't catch the names. They funny as fuck on these YouTube streets, which is why I tell y'all, stop thinking y'all got friends. You know what I'm saying? And for the creators who stay out of other people's lives and comment, you know how many of my mods or someone else's mods? Long as you stay loyal to me, as long as you're not over there running your mouth about what the fuck I got going on, as long as you're not being two-faced, bitch, I can give a fuck. But the moment that I see you co-signing with a bitch on something that has to do with me, you're born. Ain't no talking about it. Ain't no if ands or bets. You're born. I'm not going to have the that's my mall conversation. Because whether you know it or not, a lot of these mods are shared because we talk about a lot of the same shit. Why don't y'all get the they obviously want to get it from different points of view to see it differently? That's the point of having different reactors. Like, stop that. Y'all really too fucking big. For real. For real. Like, we gotta get to a point in our fucking life where we just okay with our star fucking player. Because y'all running around here trying to get everybody else to like y'all. And when they don't, the whole world come crashing the fuck down. It's okay. It will be others. Bigger people. Better people. It will be others. Like, y'all don't have to get so upset when people don't want to deal with y'all. I promise you, because it's not going to make you no break you. Seriously, just keep grinding and doing your thing. If it's meant to be, it will be. Whether a motherfucker want it to be or not. Worried about the wrong shit. Seriously. Child, I'm not done. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and tell me what you think about this down in the comments, Amy. Okay? Now, <laughs> I got to go. Then... Yo, what the fuck is it gonna take to get rid of this bitch? You can't get rid of me, bitch. Back and forth with no broke ass bitch. Okay. And that song that you like, I probably wrote that shit. know that's it. Uh, more fire, hot like Naya. Whole lot of juice, I'm the plug in the wire. Hold